Hi guys, welcome to another Feedback Friday. Today I come to you with my Oopsie Library haul. See you after the intro. Okay guys, first of all, I don't know if you can see, like the leaves are being picked up by the wind. There's this dark cloud just coming over and it's really ominous because a lot of the books here are horror books. So, if... <laughs> Ooh. But anyway, so this is my Oopsie Library haul because as I mentioned before, I put some books on hold from a different library expecting to wait as long as I do for the next one and I didn't. So, you know, Emails kept coming, seeing they were all ready, and by the end of last week, I had 10 books. That was not my plan. I don't plan on reading them all, so I'll go over the ones that I do intend on reading, then my honorable mentions. And just so I don't make people wait, I'll make a decision by the end of the week if I'm returning early the other ones that I think I might not get into, and then placing a hold again for it at a later time knowing that we will come quick the first book i have is the audition by ryu murakami this is a probably a novella it's only 171 pages horror book about this widowed man aoyama He's been a widow for seven years, he's raising his son, and then he decides that, you know, it's time for him to get married again. But he hasn't really dated in a really long time. He doesn't know how to go about it. Then his filmmaker friend suggests, because why not, that, you know, they pretend to be putting on a movie and they get news or aspiring actress to come audition. And if he likes any of them, maybe, you know, he'll just make her his bride. Why not? Sounds like a great idea, right? Well, it's not going well. He doesn't like anyone that comes to audition. But there's this young woman, Yamasaki, who catches his eyes. She, she's innocent. She's interesting. She's a former ballerina. And um, he really wants her. So he starts inviting her for lunches and dinners and get to know her more only she's not as innocent and he believes she is and what goes from here next we have cute or your darlings we place a hold at the other library where i first got it from i'm like 30th on the list so i thought i would wait a long time for it again so i place a hold in the new library and Lo and behold, I came this time. I can't do this. I will read it, especially because it sounds so interesting. In here, we follow Professor Nye. He is on a big writing slump. And um, his writing slump has last years. It has started with the death of his wife and son. Then he's a professor. One of his students has this really interesting book. Then she goes missing and is presumed dead. And he does with what every honorable person do, steal her book, publishes, and it's a bestseller, right? Couple of years after that, someone knocks on the door, and it's that girl. Okay, his world is about to be turned. Little does he know he's going to be turned way more than that, because the police also knocks on his door, okay? Because the murders in his book are eerily similar to real life murder that has happened on campus a murder that has still been unsolved so now he's faced with this question does he come up with the truth and say he never wrote the books because that way at least the suspicion is going to be off him but he's going to lose his job and his reputation or does he keep up with the lie and hope for the best that the real truth will come out even if by doing that he breaks everything i want to know what he does and i want to know where it goes i love dark academia 
really looking forward to this book. The next one I have is a book that I had on my list. A lot of people whose opinions I trust do not like this. They say they also anticipated it as I did, and they believe this is a letdown. Because it's not that long, it's only about 250 pages, I will give it a try. In the Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas, we follow this boy, and he's not like most of his peers. Not only is he one of the few black boys at his school, he also sees ghosts. He's been seeing them all his life. He seems to really feel at ease with this. He knows how to maneuver them. It's a pattern he knows, and he has never been threatened until he meets Sawyer. Sawyer is a boy who, the year prior, uh, killed six of his school friends and then turned the gun on himself and, you know, committed suicide. He decided that love, death is not really for him. He got a really thirst for doing bad things. So he comes across Jake and he devises this plan to use Jake to continue his sadistic games and not be caught because he's already dead. So this is the taking of Jake Livingston. Next, I have two books here. One of which I have read recently, Rosemary's Baby. I got this because it's a different edition. I read the 50th anniversary edition and there was some things in it that I do understand is a product of the time but were very problematic, racist even, and that was the 50th edition. I was wondering why they didn't edit that like they did, for example, for some of the Agatha Christie books. I'm not saying anything about IR-11 because some of the words he used were not in derogatory at the time. And, you know, it, it was when it was. I still enjoy the story very much, but I'm upset by some of the word choices. I got this one because it's not a 50th edition so i just want i'll probably just skim through it but i just want to know if they change anything and the final product of the 50th edition is actually a better version or if they just copy word for word i'm kind of hoping is the letter because i can't imagine a book getting worse than that did so i got this one just to skim back right before i got to the book that i really want to read son of rosemary also by r11 and i'm really interested in it for so many reasons first of all this book is set in 1999 so many years after rosemary baby which makes me believe her son is now an adult so i don't know anything about the book other than i want to know what happened to him who he has become where's the coat at what's rosemary is at so i figured this would be like an amazing like it's a gem i didn't know there was a sequel and rosemary's baby spoiler alert is one of my favorite horror movies of all time i enjoy the book and i'm curious about this next i have a book that i know more about i really like Def definitely i can't say the name i really like Daphne du maurier uh, in here we have the birds and not stories. I got this one mainly because I want to read the birds. It's also one of my favorite movies. I love, even though there's controversy, I love the Hitchcock versions. I like all of his movies. He was a genius. He was a nasty one at that, but he was a genius. Anyway, I didn't know it was based on a book. So it, it's actually a short story. So this is another horror anthology that I'm adding to my list. So in it, we will find a flock of birds that terrorize a Cornish town. That's the birds in a nutshell. But I'm curious to read it with my, you know, eyeballs. See for myself what is better, the book or the movie. And we also have five other stories in here. We have the apple tree we used to be the title of the book actually it used to be called the apple tree and other stories but in it we follow a widow whose wife dies right he's a widow dog 
and he believes that her spirit inhabits the apple tree they have in their garden. The next one is Mount Verita, which is set in this isolating mountain. Right on its edges, there's this cult who's believed to be immoral, and the town really fears them because it seems like they prey on the women of their community. Next one is Kiss Me Again, Stranger, and in it, we follow this creep, really, who stalks this one woman that works at a cinema, and then one of the day, one of these nights, he decides, you know what, I've stalked her enough. Let's see where she lives. So he decides to follow her home. She waits for her shift to be over and does so. Only she leads him to the cemetery. Woo! Last we have the old man, which is a story of this old man who believes his neighbor killed his son. Next of the books that I will read, I have the Ring. The Japanese Ring or the Ringu series is my Ugh. It's one of the horror movies that scared me the most to the point that I haven't rewatched them yet. And it was just brilliant. I really love Asian, especially Japanese, Thai, Vietnamese, and Korean horror. But they're all amazing and creepy AF. So, In the Ring, which I didn't know was a book, I only got the first one. I swear my camera just went to me. Anyway, um, there are other books in the series. If I like this one, I will see if my library hasn't put a hold, but I'm focusing on this for now. There has been so many uh, cultural references to the ring, but if you don't know anything about it, it tells a story of a very mysterious tape that makes us round to teenagers. Everyone that watches it is warned that they have one week to live. They will die at the end of the seven days unless they do this unspecified act. We start off by following four friends who watch the tape and at the end of the week they die mysteriously one after the other of a heart attack. Then we meet Asakawa. He is a journalist and one of the teens that just died happen to be his niece. So he's going to use all of his journalistic contacts and resources to find out what really is going on and see if he can put an end to this curse. My three honorable mentions are books that I'm not sure if I'll get to. I just didn't expect them to be ready for me so promptly. The first one is These Toxic Things. I've talked about it. I do have this book, but I have it as an ebook. And I started reading it and I thought it started off so good and so strong. I was doing Rachel Hall and Injusta by reading on an ebook. So I wanted to have the experience. This book begs for a real book reading experience. So I got it from the library. In it, I just talked about it on my anticipated September releases. But I found Mickey. She works for this company that does digital scrapbooks and her latest client is this girl named, named Nadia who has 12 souvenirs she wants to immortalize through the service. Only Nadia dies of an apparent suicide. To honor her, Mickey decides to continue on with the project, but as she looks into the project, she gets a very strange call telling her to leave Nadia alone and drop everything. She gets curious, so she starts to look into those souvenirs, its history, how Nadia got them, and unbeknownst to her, she awakens this dormant serial killer, and her investigation will definitely cross paths, and we go from there. And the two books that I have that I'm not sure if I'm going to read now is The Therapist. This is supposed to be like a dark thriller about a titular therapist, Sarah, she runs um, a practice, a private practice for troubled youth and um, she runs her practice out of her own house and the house is currently being renovated. She is married to Sigurd and um, her husband is supposed to go on this all boys um, getaway weekend. He said, he packs his bag, he goes to the cottage. 
the same day, she gets a call from his friends asking where he is. He's really late. He should have been there by now. And she thinks it's a practical joke because he didn't leave the house and she tells them that. But uh, they come back saying, seriously, no, he's never come here. So now she is terrified. Her husband went missing. She is stuck in this almost empty house and she starts to feel unease and like she's being threatened and there's more to it than meets the eye. And to get to the bottom of his disappearance, she's going to have to question their own relationship. And um, usually when books say they would do that, it doesn't end very well. So this is The Therapist. It is a book I want to read. For sure, it sounds very intriguing. I'm just not sure if I'll finish it now. Then I have The Retreat by Elizabeth de Moriafi. In The Retreat, we follow Maeve that goes to High Water Center for the Arts, a gorgeous lodge nestled deep in the Rocky Mountains, determined to do one thing, begin her own dance company. She is a former dancer. She is at this retreat with six other guests. And things are going fine and then of course there's a big snowstorm things are still going fine because they have food around they start to get to know each other and you know it's weird but it is what it is only the storm seems to continue to rage there's no end in sight it's been days and they're still locked in into this isolated mansion really See where I'm going with that? See why I picked this off? Yes. And you know what happens next. One of them dies. And then Maeve is pretty scared because she realizes she doesn't know any of them. And what good is to be locked into this house if the darkness is actually inside? So that's a retreat. I hope I get to it. But if I don't, I know it's a book that I'll be picking up very soon. Anywho, that's it for my library Paul, let me know if you read any of these books or what was the last book you got from a library. How long are usually the wait list there? Can't wait to hear from you. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic weekend. Enjoy the fall. Enjoy life. And continue to be the hummingbird. Until next time. Bye.